everyone. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, so, I went to Home Bargain. I didn't pick up loads and loads, but these videos always seem to go down really well and I thought I would show you what I picked up. So if you want to see, then keep watching. Hi everyone. I hope you're all doing okay. So, it is... Tuesday, my kids finish school on Friday for two weeks off of Easter and there are a few bits that I need to get for like work and then I went to Pets at Home and I thought I'm going to nip into Home Bargains and get a few bits from there as well. Um, it's not the biggest haul in the world. I did film like a little Reels slash TikTok slash YouTube short though to show you a few bits that I spotted while I was in there so if you've not seen that already I'll link that down below but yeah I just thought I would show you what I got because I love watching stuff like this. I really do. So let's get cracking. This isn't a massive massive haul by any means. It's not uber exciting either did i just say uber anyway first thing that i picked up were these quavers because they're new and they are barbecue sauce flavor and there is a particular 10 year old boy in my house that i know who will like just lose his mind over these it's got a real thing for crisps that's like his ultimate snack and he's gonna love these and they were on offer as well like two for two pounds or something like that so i picked up two bags and will they last very long absolutely not because my children are savages the next thing that i picked up was some toothpaste i got the junior six plus one because mine sometimes still have a bit of an issue of like why is it spicy do you know what i mean when it's super super minty um and i thought i would just give this one a go i just know that when you are looking at um toothpaste and things like this you want to look for i think it's 1450 ppm of fluoride something like that you need to make sure that it's got a decent amount in and um, so it'll do a good job that's what my dentist always says so that is a really long-winded way of explaining that i got some toothpaste to everyone i hope you appreciated that the next few things are from the queen of clean herself and um, i was very excited to see these they had a whole stand set out so it's the mrs hinge country garden edition and it's pink tulips and white jasmine i mean in all honesty i can't quite smell it it's got but these eco click boxes now i am um, i feel almost defeated by them like like um you know when you're a, those child say <laughs> cow paw bottles and sometimes if you just don't grip it properly i can't <laughs> I am pushing down. You push, hold the bottom and lift. Can't say that's working for me. Oh, it'll be that there's a. Uh, this, 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 it's taped. That will be why I can't open it. So we'll just, will we edit that bit out? Who knows? But, um,. I was kind of hoping they were going to be pink, to be honest, but they're a uh, lilac colour, never mind. Uh, I just thought that would be pleasing. I also got the Mrs. Hinge pink tulips and white jasmine. Sorry, I'm still recovering from that faux pas. Um, it's very... It's very gardeny. It, re it does smell like... It reminds me of... Um, as a flora. I can't remember which one though. Um, so I got that and then I also got the spray wipe done because, well, why not I do a lot of cleaning? Um, so I thought I would try that one. And um, it is really pretty that actually. And I was sucked in by all the branding, you know, when you're like, oh, okay, I've got to try it. Um, so that is though. I think the only other cleaning item I got was this surf. Um, you know the concentrated disinfectant? I first saw this when it came out around Christmas time, but I wasn't in the market for tropical smells at the time. I was in the market for like cinnamon and apples and all that good stuff. Oh, it does smell really nice. They had like a coconut one and then another scent as well, but I went for tropical lily. I uh, just thought that would be handy to have. And also sometimes I will run the flora through my washing machine on like a clean cycle just to freshen it up a little bit um, and I thought it would actually be quite nice to use this given that it kind of mimics the scent of like 
washing stuff um but i'm really excited to have that actually i think it's quite a cute little bottle and um i do i'm obsessed with laundry detergent scents more than anything um and stuff like that pleases me and then the rest of the thing i went, I went a bit crazy with like sweet treats which i don't normally do um i got some fruit hearts which are just a great addition to um lunch boxes so love those for the kids um i got these because i thought they were really weird choco bears and they are like little mini because you can feel them they're quite small they're probably about that big little mini chocolate bears that are made out of marshmallow covered in chocolate and for some reason i just saw them and thought oh my kids will really like those <laughs> I forgot them um i will do this like sometimes i will stock up on a sweet and do like a sweetie jar like a homemade one um for, you know like movie nights and stuff like that so like i'll mix them all together and then like when we watch movies family or like say it's a weekend evening um not during the week i'll um let them pick a few from the jar kind of thing and that's that's just what i do um and then Speaking of that, my kids' favourite, favourite sweets at the moment are Sour Patch Kids. And to be fair, they are very nice. I've got the Sour Patch Kids Watermelon Flavoured Sweets, which are actually watermelon shaped. They look like that on the back. I got the Cola ones, which I've never seen before and I don't think they've had before. And then I got the fruit mix flavoured sweets. So there's cherry, apple, tropical and black currant. Which I don't think they've had these ones before either. Because they've had the original but they don't look like this. So yeah, stupid amount of sweets. But they will be rationed, don't you worry. And then the final thing I got was actually from Ethel. Fizzy pencils but oh Vimto flavour. Fizzy pencils are one of my faves. They've got like that fondant center and obviously they're like sour tangy on the outside and i was really excited when i saw these i thought oh i've got to give you a go um and they are apple white grape blackcurrant and raspberry all together which i'm guessing is the key flavors of bunto but um yeah that is all they picked up nothing crazy but yeah i hope you enjoyed watching this video i'm gonna go and do some editing now and check if my washings done um i've not heard it yet normally lets us know doesn't it it's so loud and um yeah have a lovely rest of your day and i will hopefully see you all very very soon bye